If you are interested in feeling better while you're taking Zoloft, then you've come to the right place because during my time on Zoloft, I spent a lot of time researching, experimenting, and figuring out how I could feel my best while I was on it. And not just feel your best from the perspective of side effects, minimizing your side effects, but also being able to give yourself the best chance of healing through your anxiety or the depression that you are experiencing that encouraged you or <clears throat> influenced you to take this medication in the first place, right? And we want to give you the best chances to feel your best and come back to the electricity, the clarity of thinking, the energy of being exactly who you are and letting that light shine, letting that magic through. And so we want to be able to give you the best chances mentally, physically, and emotionally. And the first place that I start is how are we nourishing the body and the mind? And so number one, really simple, is are we hydrating ourselves? As beings, as animals that are 70% water, are we giving ourselves the water, the hydration that we need to optimally function? If we're 70% water, then that water plays a major role in our emotional regulation. It plays a major role in our cognitive function. It plays a major role in keeping all the systems that play within us at their highest level of performance. And so are we getting the hydration that we need? Are we drinking water that is providing us this hydration or are we drinking soda on a regular basis that's actually dehydrating us? Are we drinking alcohol on a regular basis that is dehydrating us? Are we eating foods that dehydrate us or are we eating things like fruits that hydrate us, right? And so really simple step one, the first way that we can just easily improve how we feel, how we think is giving ourselves the highest level of hydration that we can. Now, number two, just like giving ourselves a nourishing essence of hydration, we also want to be able to give ourselves food that is going to nourish us instead of deplete or disempower us. And so what do I mean by that? I mean, are we eating foods that are processed with ingredients that we do not know how to pronounce? Or are we eating foods that are nourishing us that we do know how to pronounce? Foods or products that only have two, three, four ingredients that we can pronounce instead of products that have 30 ingredients with ones that have every single letter in the alphabet, right? I read this book um, by a gentleman named Michael Pollan called In the Defense of Food. And one major takeaway that I had from that book is eat foods that your great grandmother would recognize as food, right? Because two, two generations ago, we weren't mm, manipulating our foods quite the way that we are now. And when we have all of these excess chemicals, um, dyes, different types of sugars and syrups in our body, our body is not going to operate at the level that it can. And so instead of eating these processed foods, instead of eating these things that are filled with things that we do not need, being able to eat whole foods, right? Things with low ingredients, single ingredients, being able to just eat the potatoes, the lentils, eating the broccolis, the fruits, eating, if you eat meat, eating the meat as it is, the highest quality of meat that we can, right? Being able to eat foods that we recognize as foods. 
And that's going to set us up for so much more success in how we physically feel and how we mentally operate. And the third ingredient here is giving ourselves the opportunity, just the opportunity to get the highest quality of sleep that we can. Because sleep plays the most important, the most crucial role in how we think, feel, and perform. And so, if that's the case, we want to give ourselves the highest chance to get good sleep. Meaning, are we scrolling on our phones right before we go to bed? Are we watching Netflix in the background at the same time that we're scrolling on our phones right before we go to bed? Are we drinking sugary drinks, eating sugary foods, eating in general right before we go to bed? Or are we turning the lights off, our phones off an hour, hour and a half before we go to bed? Giving ourselves the opportunity to maybe catch a sleep influencing meditation or breathing exercise right before that we go to bed? Are we letting the foods stop an hour, two hours before we go to bed so that we go to sleep easier, our mind is more relaxed, and then when we're actually asleep, we have the opportunity to have a deeper sleep because there's so much less stimulation happening within the body, within digestion, within the mind, and that allows us to go so much deeper in that six, seven, eight, nine hours that we are asleep, right? So just giving ourselves the highest opportunity to get quality sleep, even if it takes time to get to that place of having that quality sleep, right? Because these habits, shifting these habits can take time and that's okay, right? But overall, what I'm really sharing throughout this whole video is are we giving ourselves the highest chances for feeling good through, are we empowering ourselves through what we consume? Are we empowering ourselves through what we watch, through what we read? Or are we disempowering ourselves through what we consume, what we watch, what we, what we read, right? Everything that we surround ourselves with, everything that we take in, has an influence on our body. And what I'm simply asking in this video is, is it having a positive influence on our experience or is it having a negative influence on our experience? And so really the whole experience in this video, the whole theme and tension with this video is, how can we begin to or continue to, excuse me, nourish ourselves and give us ourselves the highest chances for feeling our best. And so to close out this video, I have two questions. Number one, just to breed some awareness on ourselves, where we're coming from, where we're at, where we want to go. What am I doing currently that depletes me? Another way of asking this, what am I currently doing throughout my daily life that disempowers me? Okay? Have compassion. We're all human. We all have those habits that we're not a fan of, right? It's okay. And once you have clarity on that, you could journal on that. You could walk on that. You don't have to answer that right now. The second question is, what can I do that nourishes me? I'll ask that differently. What can I do that empowers me on a daily basis? Maybe it's just having a full two cups glass of water as soon as you start your day. Maybe it's shifting one snack out that's processed with eating an orange 
or eating an apple or a banana with peanut butter? What can I do that nourishes me instead of disempowers me or depletes me, right? And give yourself time to let these things brew. I don't expect you to have the answers right now. And the one major thing that I want to share here is just that the path to mastery is paved with practice. It's okay if these habits have been alive with you, uh, have been alive inside of you for a long time. Having compassion instead of whipping ourselves for treating ourselves this way. Maybe we've never been taught a better way before. And so now we get to give ourselves a new way of going forward. And so taking just one step at a time on that journey. We don't have to change our whole lives, just changing one thing at a time. And so with that, we're giving ourselves the highest chance to feel good, even while we are experiencing anxiety, even while we're on a medication, we're giving ourselves the highest chance to heal, to move through these things, and ultimately to feel our best because we are so much more than what anxiety, what our minds and our thoughts might make us think. We just have to give ourselves the right ingredients to be there. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Many people might be able to learn from your comment or your question. And if you ever have anything that you want to be private, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. Or if you have, want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation uh, live, you can always co uh, contact me through my website. So with that said, I will see you in the next video. I wish you so much love in the meantime. Ciao for now.